Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. And one thing about it, even if it looks good on the outside, if the inside is not good, it don't even matter. Let's get into Martell Hope. Let's go. So this is from the U.S. Sun. Exclusive. Nasty divorce. Love and marriage. Huntsville's Martell Holt ordered to undergo psych evaluation after ex accuses him of abusing kids. This is crazy. So within this divorce battle, because we all know that Mel and Martell is divorced. They have just been going to court back and forth about the kids and the custody, right? But it's gotten more nasty and Mel has grown more concerned about his alleged erratic behavior and inappropriate treatment of the children. And I'm going to say that Tasha K interview did not help him at all. So, y'all, this has not been long ago that this has been ordered for Martell to do. December the 14th, 2023, Mel wants him to submit a psychiatric examination and evaluation ahead of their trial that they have to go to in April. I, I know he can with this. According to the Alabama courts docs, exclusively obtained by the U.S. Sun, Melody informed the court that the mental, psychological, and emotional stability of the father is an issue. I get it. Child Martell is down here at the children's school acting up. That's one reason she filed. Erratic behavior at the minor children's school, practice, and other public places. And erratic behavior toward the mother and the minor children. So she wants a thorough mental examination. And I agree. He should have one. Child, the son is so messy. They did not have to say this. In the same filing, she claims Sheree Whitfield's ex continued to use corporal punishment against their minor children. What are them children doing? They cannot be doing that much. It, it's just, it's, we just don't do that to the kids like that today. That's crazy. She gave an example that on December 11th, 2023, he allegedly threatened to tear them up once their divorce case is over. Martell! And said in a separate filing from December 14th that he even offered to allow the children to be taped on television on Love and Marriage Huntsville if he could use corporal punishment in the future. Why would you even say something like that? So here it says third time to charm. So, you know, the divorce was final March of 2021, but Mel went back and filed a new petition in July of 2023 to modify legal custody and the visitation schedule, right? Mainly due to Martel's alleged mental and emotional abuse of the minor children. This is crazy. I'm going to leave this here and let you read this top part for yourself because this is really ridiculous. And if Martel is doing this, he shouldn't get psychological treatment at a hospital. He should be behind bars. But the one at the bottom says the father has refused to follow the court order as he has stopped therapy between him and his son. Martel, you need to, you need help. Child, they just said in here that the kids say the only way they want to see their daddy if he would stop putting his hands on them. She also said he exhibited behavior that has been negligent and unstable and has shown a lack of proper parenting when it comes to his care for the minor children during his custodial times. And in addition, she gave examples of some of his threats, including reportedly saying he will TKO. This is crazy. And she also said something like Martel not stable because he keeps moving from location to location. Child, this is crazy. I'm not going to waste time with this at the bottom. They get into the revenge pee. I'll let you read all that. Child, Mel said Martel can't see these kids to the daytime. Until you go and get you some help, you're going to just come right here by 12 to 3. And that's the only time you can see these children because you need some help. Then Martel got so much to say talking about Mel had spanked a child when they were like 3. I mean, I'm sure Mel didn't do the stuff that you said you wanted to do, asking for corporal punishment. That is insane. And he also said that she filed a modification in bad faith with unclean hands. Sir, do you even know what you mean by that statement? I can't. Of course, Martell is denying it, and his publicist is saying right here in the middle that it's all a misunderstanding, and we're confident that he will be vindicated. We'll wait on that. 
So in the end, it's saying that Martell remains committed to being a devoted father, maintaining positive relationships with his children, co-parenting with Miss Rogers and Miss Curry for the well-being of their children. Child, this is wild. I don't know what Martell's future in Love and Marriage Huntsville is going to be. I, I just, I, I can't call it. But, like, I don't know how you could even fix it for him to be on television. I mean, because he is probably one of the worst reality TV stars that we have out there now. If you can think of a different one, let me know. It's your girl, Millie Chan. We can talk about it. Bye, y'all.